we're back on the roof. So uh, there's a window right over, right behind me, and they just noticed that it was frozen. Uh, so yeah, looks like it's not going in a defrost. This is a heat pump. So let's uh, dig into it and see what's going on. So here we go. see the DF right there that's the sprout these two brown wires so I want to see if it's actually um, closed which it should be yep it's closed so we're gonna go ahead and force this thing into defrost now I lost my call for heat so we'll be uh, jumping it out up here thankfully we can do that from here uh, the fan is on the on position downstairs so I'm gonna plug this back in and then uh, we'll see if we can get it to go into defrost get this melted and we'll go from there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take this test pin and put it on test. Okay. And I'm gonna change this to 30 minutes because it was set to 60. And hopefully this thing defrosts. All right, so the unit came out of defrost early. Um, it's obviously it's still frozen. Check this out. So I think my sensor is messed up. It's not. It's resetting too quickly, or maybe it's positioning or something. But uh, I need to get this thing defrosted. So I'm gonna jump out that line, and then I'm gonna put it back into defrost until I get it actually melted all the way. All right. So I got that jumped out. Uh, the defrost sensor is jumped out, um, and then I put the test pin on test. Once it goes into defrost mode, you got to take it off, otherwise it'll just go back into heat mode. Um, so yeah, I just took it off, put it, and then I set it to 30, but looks like we're going to have to change out that uh, defrost thermostat. Once I get this completely defrosted, I'm going to see where its location is and then just kind of go from there. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's just resetting too early. All right, so we got her mostly defrosted. Um, I think we'll call it good. There's a little bit at the bottom, but I mean, that's pretty much it. And perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and get that jumper off. Um, and then we're gonna have to change that thermostat for sure. All right, so here's our watt. So this is our discharge thermostat and for some reason it's attached to the discharge. So this is the true discharge. So no matter what mode it's in, it's always the discharge. No wonder it reset. I'm amazed it was even closed. Yeah, that's, that's the one. So yeah, usually that's gonna be on the coil itself. So somebody put this on the wrong spot. They probably thought it was a discharge temperature sensor, maybe. Okay, so I looked at these other units here and their discharge thermostats, or I'm sorry, their defrost thermostats are right here, not on here, which this makes more sense because, yeah. So I'm gonna move this over to here. <sighs> And then we're going to come back and check to see if, you know, if this thing's frozen again. Uh, but, yeah, I think that's not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be here. So, and if it still does that, we'll contact tech support and just verify that that's where it's supposed to be. But both of those units are in the same spot, so we should be all right. Um, yeah, because I know that the switch is working. It's crazy though, I don't understand how it was tripped if it was on discharge, because this, this is a pretty hot line. So we need to, may need to order another one of these too. I'm probably gonna go ahead and get one on order and come back and change it, just because there's also some exposed wire um, on there, so that's not good. All right, so we got her all put back together. She's totally running right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get a new thermostat for this, a new defrost thermostat, just to cover our basis because like I said there's some exposed wire on there and I'm just kind of weary if it gets wet plus it's been on the discharge line so I don't know if that's supposed to be that so I'm gonna do a little more research and find out about the placement but I think it's I think it's in the spot it's supposed to be but if it was on a discharge line that means it's hot all the time so it may have you know thrown it off so it might not be as accurate as, as it used to be that's why I'm gonna replace it so but I'll be back for that so we're back the next day, just replace this, this defrost thermostat. Uh, as you can see, it's not frozen. So it definitely the location was not where it needed to be. 
Um, and then I just replaced this one because you can see that it got cooked. So all the, uh, you know, there's some exposed stuff here. The plastic kind of fell off. So, um, but yeah, it's got a brand new one in there. I just got to plug it in. So uh, yeah, so hopefully this helps you out when you come across a frozen heat pump. So uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Comment to me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you want to support the channel, uh, pick up some tools from my tool store and buy some socks. Thanks for watching.